Hello, beloved friends. I hope that you're having a wonderful, beautiful day today. It is snowy. It's not snowy. It is cold and rainy in Sacramento today. So I am feeling cozy. I'm feeling definitely the Christmas spirit today. My children and I are making our favorite holiday treats and I thought I would share with you favorite things to make during the holidays, um, to eat for ourselves or to give away to friends and family. I think these are a hit and they're a ex excellent, excellent thing to bring to any potluck, any holiday, anything you have going on this season. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time, my name is Libby Air and I make videos every week on beauty, lifestyle, and inspiration. I hope that by you watching my videos that you would know that you are enough and that you're beloved. And I just wanna encourage your life in whatever way I feel inspired to. Um, thank you so much for being here. I know your time is precious. I would just love for you to consider subscribing to my YouTube channel and joining the family. We're growing and it's exciting. And I'm just so grateful that I get to do this. I get to be a part of your life and I get to wake up every morning excited to create for you. So I just would really appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. And if you like and comment the video, it would be so awesome to see what your feedback is. Ruffle, it's so delicious, so good. I've been making it since I was five. Just kidding, not really. <laughs> that would be so funny if she was making it till five. You know how worth it is for 10,8159? Truffles, truffles, Oreo truffles, Oreo the truffles. The first treat I'm gonna share with you is one of my all time favorite things to make, especially with my kiddos, and to watch people eat when you take it to parties it is uh, it's so fun watching people eating it because they're they don't know what it is they come out to be these little truffles so they're just like circular little balls and the cool part about it is that they're made from two simple ingredients i put cream cheese and oreo cookies in them so As my five-year-old says, she says, mommy, take out the Oreo crusher. It's because the only reason I use my, my food processor is to make Oreo balls. So she thinks this only crushes Oreos. Then you're gonna need one packet of Oreos, cream cheese. I usually get the Philadelphia one, but I was on a tight budget yesterday, so I chose the Target brand, cream cheese. I think it's just gonna be fine because it's gonna be mixed with Oreos. Anything mixed with Oreos is gonna taste all right except for poop. We're gonna need candy melts. These I get at, where did we go yesterday? Michael's. Michael's is a great place to get the candy melts for the Oreo balls. I got them in a green and in uh, red. Yep, um, these are Wilton. I'm sure you can probably They're order green. this online. <laughs> online, 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 online. Just make sure to read the directions when you're melting these bad boys, okay? you should know is to soften your cream cheese and make sure you leave it at room temperature for a good while so it can get really soft and mushy. Take seven Oreos out of their package. I have an assistant today. Nice work kiddo. Yes, put the rest inside of the Oreo crusher. Now you're gonna put the cream cheese into the cookie mixture. I like to take it and break it in half and put it on and either I'll side. Rub it out and then I'll tear it apart and then I'll put it back in. What do I do now? Now we're going to do another round of processing the Oreos and the cream cheese until it gets really smooth. You can use a spatula to help you out, and in the end, just make sure your batter is really smooth. What we want to do is put the batter into the refrigerator for about two hours so that you can have a nice and firm consistency. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little balls and put them on 
wax paper. You can make them as big as you would like, but I like to have them kind of bite sized so this is usually, typically what I do. There's nothing perfect aside from Jesus, so I don't mess around with perfection here, but just want to make sure that these are nice and sphere looking and then I pop them in the freezer so that they can become hardened and then I can dip them in the chocolate. Half of the power for 30 seconds. So I do cook time 30 seconds at half of the power. Just make sure to follow the directions in the back of your candy melts. The consistency of the candy melts is where I need it to be. It's nice and fluid and it can do its thing and it doesn't have any clumps. So now what I'm gonna do, I took the Oreo truffles out of the freezer and I'm just gonna reshape it a little bit, put another layer of wax paper so that I can place them down on. And then I drop it in like this and I rescue it with my spoon and I put it on the paper that I just set. That is so Just like this. I know. And they don't have to be, again, nothing's perfect except from Jesus. So you just do the best you can. I want to do the dipping. Okay, go ahead and do it. And then you need to add a little bit of chocolate. Okay, so the trick, I guess, is you grab the spoon and you sort of work it out and then place. So this is the result. This is what you get. You can do them in whatever colors you want. You could even pop them on a stick if you want to do like cake pop type of Oreo balls, but with the Oreo and the cream cheese. When they're made with love, they just taste better. <laughs> That's so good. And that is all my friends. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your time and watching. If you do happen to make them and you want to tag me on Instagram, I would love to see your creations. My Instagram is at Libiera Reynolds. So I love, love, love when I can hear from you and I can hear your feedback and hear your voice because I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next week. Adiosito. Adiosito. Oh, next week I'm bringing you... comida mexicana. Be sure to come back because I'm going to have some Mexican recipes that remind me of Christmas. Some Mexican recipes that I delight in as the weather gets cold. I'm not going to spoil what we're going to make. Make sure to come back. All right, I'll see you soon. Michael's is a really good place to... Michael's is a great...